Paul McNew here. Why don't you come on down to this other podium? Go ahead, Mr. Foster. Uh, my name is Kevin Michael Foster. I am a former UT student and a current uh, faculty member uh, at the university. Among Austin's challenges are, of course, affordability and homelessness. I appreciate the work of Councilmember Kitchen, Kassar, Tovo, and, and many others on the dais to support the stabilization of our most marginalized. I applaud Housing First Options, the expansion of social services, and safety nets. I hope for the revision of ordinances that make it illegal to sleep, sit, lie down, or solicit while homeless. Let's historicize for a moment. It should be known that our homeless ordinances are eerily similar to our most recent policies of the past. In the 1860s, when Texas was an exceedingly violent place and dangerous place for African Americans, Austin was less so. As a result, African Americans migrated in and joined the population that was already here. They came seeking safety, autonomy, opportunity. This is how we got Kinchinville, Clarksville, Robertson Hill, Gregorytown, Wheatsville, Raina Branch, and a dozen other freedmen communities, each with an autonomous church and school. And then we messed up. Our response to the new black presence was to express fear, build a police force, criminalize blacks, and control them. In June 1865, the mayor and city council met to deal with, quote, the fact that a large number of Negroes turned loose by their owners are congregating in and about Austin, as also perhaps desperate white men, making it necessary to organize a police force to, control, to deal with them. And how did we put our new force to use? Council immediately passed an ordinance to deal with, quote, all able-bodied Negroes who have abandoned the service of their employers for the purpose of idleness or who are found loitering or rambling about or idly wandering about the streets or other public thoroughfares. We no longer whip the idle or lease them to the lowest bidder, as ordinance called for then, but we still saddle people with debts that make escaping homelessness less likely. And we do still disproportionately target black folk. When we criminalize sleeping, sitting, or lying down, we aren't policing evildoers. We are protecting the privilege of those who don't want to be bothered with the existence of the homeless. Wouldn't it be better to end homelessness instead of policing it? And simply shifting ordinance language around may not help either. When police retain discretion to subjectively label as aggressively confrontive, we haven't made things better. We've only given power to the implicit racial biases that have characterized policing for the extent of this city's history. Reject ordinances that make it a crime to live while, homelessness, while, while homeless, leave the criminalization, jailing, and police state expansion in the past. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Is Rachel Matt